Hello everybody, this is Dr. G.P. Sudhakar, Professor of Management from Hyderabad, India. Right, in this uh, specific video, we will discuss how to write a research paper. How to write a research paper. Right, uh, see, I will explain you what would be the contents of a research paper. What would be the contents of a research paper and uh, some of the techniques also I will share with you. Some of the techniques in writing a research paper I will share with you. Right. See, first, uh, you should start with the title, title of the paper. You should start with the title of the paper. See, title, it should be catchy. Whatever title you are keeping, it should be catchy. By seeing the title, I should be able to tell which area it comes in, in management area. For example, for example, title I will tell you. What is that? Effect of individual emotional intelligence and organizational performance. It comes under organizational behavior or you no know, HR area, right? Uh, OP area, emotional intelligence. Right. So this is one of the title examples. Effect of individual emotional intelligence on organizational performance. So the, by seeing the title, are top five factors contributing to automobile sales growth? Which area of management it is coming into? So the title, from title, you should also be able to derive the keywords, keywords for your paper. And also what is the content you have written also, based on these two combinations, you should be able to write keywords for your paper. Keywords are useful when somebody searches your paper over the net, uh, keywords will, uh, you know, pull the paper, your paper and uh, show it to them. Keywords should be specific to whatever is the content you have written and, you know, relevant to the paper right so title uh, best practice is best practice in writing a title is you know have uh, the most eight words eight words for the paper and also title indicates what is the scope you are considering in the paper scope what is the scope you are considering you no know, for example you are writing a research paper right scope you don't take large right large scope you don't take research paper means in a limited scope if it is phd thesis scope would be wider PhD thesis scope would be wider. So limited scope, uh, so your title of the paper should indicate that. What is the scope also, right? So and it should be catchy. We should be able to you know grab uh, attention of the people. The, like that uh, title should be, right? So next what after title, other name and affiliation will be included uh, typically. Other name and uh, affiliation. See, for example, some journals uh, say that uh, no, keep it anonymous. Uh, no, we will uh, say in separate communications and the other name and affiliation. So they don't want you to include in the uh, for peer review purpose. You know, for double blind review purpose. The blind review purpose. They ask you to you know, uh, don't keep include the other name in the paper itself. You have to use separately to communicate. Right, so according as per the general standard, you include or you know separately communicate with them. Other other name. Right. So next comes the abstract. Next comes abstract. See abstract. When you start a paper, don't write the abstract at the beginning. Don't write the abstract at the beginning. Once you are done with the entire paper, come back and write the abstract. What is that you covered in the paper? What is that? You covered in the paper, right? So abstract uh, gives a gist of the paper. Gist of a paper. What is the research problem you started with? What is that your contribution? And what are the findings of the research? Right? What is your contribution? Value addition. So this abstract have up to maximum of five to six sentences. Maximum of five to six sentences for abstract. That is one of the best practices. This five to six sentences abstract and title eight words max right it is one of the best practice next after abstract what comes keywords after 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 abstract next comes keywords keywords means they will identify to which broader area your uh, paper enters into and they will help in fetching your paper from the database Right. So, for example, there in which in the title of the paper, what we decided, effect of individual emotional intelligence and organizational performance. What can be the keywords? Emotional intelligence in one keyword. Emotional intelligence. Organizational performance. Organize. 
organizational performance this is one keyword right similarly individual performance also you might have discussed in the paper emotional intelligence is impacting individual performance intern impacting manager performance intern impacting organizational performance that may be the model you have designed right emotional intelligence of individual impacting individual performance individual performance is impacting manager performance manager performance impacting organizational performance that could be the model right so when you have that so individual performance will become one keyword individual performance and like that based on the content of the paper what you have discussed in the paper you set the keywords include the keywords right now this is the header you know first page of the paper so next comes introduction next comes introduction <coughs> introduction means what it sets the tone for the paper it sets the tone for the paper that means you know to which industry you are uh, writing about which industry is it specific to organization or any uh, specific to industry or what is the research broader area you are considering right so that is introduction or journals what you have collect, uh, collected papers from a setting tone for the paper right so next one next comes research problem research question we can say question research question in the research paper you can write research question so this is the question i am starting with you can use best practices to have uh, you know one or two research questions for a research paper that should be all right if it is 15 to 20 pages research paper the 15 to 20 pages research papers are most cited they are the most cited papers you know research paper size also you know uh, there is a correlation between paper size and also the number of citations number of citations so 15 to 20 pages paper you have that is the ideal case that is the ideal case right so research questions you can have one or two research questions or at the most three questions you can have research questions next comes what research objective research <coughs> objective This is my objective. My objective is to find out the uh, effect of emotional intelligence and organizational performance. My objective is to find out the individual emotional intelligence effect on organizational performance. That is my objective. Next to what? Research objective. Next comes to what? You know, literature review. Literature review. Literature review comes into picture. So in literature review, what do you do related to the research problem? You gather literature, right? For example, you are writing a empirical study paper. 40 to 50 research papers you will be collecting. Or any conceptual paper, 30 to 40. Or no conceptual study, there are papers also having more than 100 references. There are papers across the world, 100, 200 references also, they are there. You know, and one more thing is conceptual papers are the highly cited papers to compare with empirical studies. But the number of papers written more are the empirical studies across the world. More empirical studies papers are written, but the more cited papers are the conceptual and review papers. Right, so that is the key. So, so literature review. So, literature review, what do you do? For example, you have collected 40 50 papers, right? So, what is the essence of it? From each paper, what are the key papers which are useful for your model development? Those papers you you include it here, right? So this so and so person so and so here, and this is the citation style will be there. There are two styles. One is APA, and otherwise other one is MLA style. APA means American Psychological Association. Another MLA style is uh, you know Harvard style so like that. There are citation styles. Based on that in, in, inline citation and also the references will vary based on the citation reference styling. Reference styling. So you follow one style, APA style or you know, Harvard style or something like that. And then literature review. In literature review, you know, other name followed by year name and so on so factor has been considered in this research and this is the research finding. Like that you have to have uh, per paper you have one paragraph something like that. 
and then comes a literature gap then comes literature gap what is the gap you have identified in the literature that means that part is the one which is not done earlier empirically that was not proven that part whatever is the literature gap right so after identifying literature gap what all will come conceptual model development conceptual model development model development this literature gap and the research problem will give you conceptual model conceptual model you put a diagram include a figure here include a figure of the conceptual model so these are the factors no three different factors impacting my variables and the another variable so like this have a conceptual model in the in the conceptual model right so you have done literature review then after that literature gap you identified then you developed the conceptual model next what comes hi uh, next uh, no usually research design research methodology or design research methodology some journals will call and you can also say research design next comes uh, keep hypothesis keep hypothesis from this model there are this is h1 this is h2 this is h3 this is h4 no these are the hypothesis h1 h2 h4 hypothesis in the conceptual model you can derive right the hypothesis so include the hypothesis as part of research uh, uh, next uh, next comes what after hypothesis you know a questionnaire or instrument questionnaire or instrument what is that you are using instrument what is that you are using questionnaire or instrument what is that you are using the so questionnaire also you know comes from this model right what references you have collect, used for collecting variables from that you will prepare questionnaire right so questionnaire come will come right so the, with these the number of items i have included the questionnaire using these references you have to specify in the research paper right next comes what no data collection data collection before that you have to write sample sample design sample design how you design the sample you should say this is the population this is the population considered and this is the sample considered and this is the sampling technique used sampling technique used in sample design that will come right next comes data collection next comes data collection data collection in data collection what all will be there you know respondents profile data collection and uh, you know um, respondents profile respondents profile huh? data collection and then the data preparation you can say two three sentences you can write about any errors or deleted or you know something like the data uh, data uh, preparation next comes data analysis data analysis what are the statistical techniques you are using as part of data analysis what statistical tools you are using specify in data analysis data analysis right and also include the results uh, for example you used correlation you used regression or chi square test anova manova or which technique you have used so that outcome of the statistical technique also include the tables include the insert the tables so table 1 table 2 table 3 like this insert the tables in the data analysis next comes research findings research findings in this have the discussion of the findings what is the interpretation what is the interpretation of uh, uh, what is the interpretation you are making from the uh, statistical uh, uh, result has come out right in data analysis what is the um, finding you are uh, making uh, your interpretation of the results you have to discuss in the research findings so next comes what after research findings see next comes to, you know uh, 
you know concluding remarks you know concluding remarks before that you can do one thing implications to industry implications to industry implications to industry similarly implications to research community research community next comes conclusion conclusion and then limitations limitations of the study what are the limitations of my study what are the limitations of my study limitations you know um, uh, whether it is in uh, you know, the sample size is more or less or you know uh, the geographical area you, uh, you considered that sample size or you know what what would be the limitation specific to uh, your uh, research so that also is specified and next what what do you do a scope for further research scope for further research scope for further research no what uh, research community across the world researchers across the world what they can do further from you from from based on your studies based on your findings what they can extend the research you know knowledge you are distributing the knowledge and then uh, you know it is it is useful for the further uh, uh, exploration and research right so scope for further research also you can uh, specify scope for further probably you have considered uh, two three factors and you can say that you know fifth and sixth factor also can be considered for further research so like that you have to specify next comes references next comes references so in references you specify you follow some style apa style or mla style or harvard style whatever it is right and write the uh, in a specific format references specific format see see and some journals uh, for example you have drawn uh, tables and uh, figures right some journals ask you to insert figure and table at the appropriate location wherever you want to insert at that location itself they ask you to insert right so some uh, journals they will say that include at the end of the paper uh, you know after references after references you know uh, like illustrations or figures tables at the end of the uh, at the end of the uh, paper like some journals uh, they advise it so based on the journal to which you are submitting you have to insert figures and tables uh, in the research paper and one more uh, trouble area is you know number one it is section numbering trouble area in this sense sometimes you miss the sequence of section numbers when you submit paper you miss the sequencing of the section numbers right and another uh, trouble area is the figure numbers you know sometimes the serial number you will miss sequence numbering of the figure numbers sequence numbering of the table numbers you will miss right so these are some of the trouble areas right and also sometimes what happens is you will include in the references but you won't cite it in the running text uh, like in the literature review or anywhere in the um, document uh, in the paper you have not uh, cited them Uh, you have but you specified in the references that is uh, you know uh, it should be removed so if something is there which is not cited in the paper it has to be removed right and one more uh, thing is uh, one more thing is uh, right references uh, we discuss right and flow flow should be there in the paper uh, there should be continuity there should not be jumping you know flow from one section to the another section continuous flow should be there hmm? next comes language grammar uh, these are some of the key areas these are some of the key areas right sometimes hypothesis missing sometimes model diagram missing so these are some of the key areas right so you should focus and references uh, should be cited uh, right that is one more area and uh, so these are some of the uh, areas uh, you should focus when you are writing a paper right 
and typically have 15 to 20 pages uh, paper and this is a typical structure of an empirical study what you write a paper empirical paper empirical research paper uh, this can be a typical structure if you are writing empirical research or primary research paper uh, this can be a typical structure for example you are doing conceptual study or uh, you know review based uh, study review based research uh, secondary research, uh, review based uh, uh, research you are doing, uh, uh, typically this structure you can alter, you know, instead of uh, systematically, you know, you know keeping uh, uh, research methodology, hypo questionnaire, sample design, all these things, uh, you can keep the, you know, text based, uh, context based uh, keywording, in the sense, individual performance, individual performance and organizational performance, section names, or, uh, you know, Mm, individual characteristics section name like that in the review paper and the concept paper you can uh, have the uh, no, keywords as uh, you know some of the uh, section names right it depends whether you are writing a conceptual paper or you are writing a um, empirical study paper empirical study paper right so that is uh, important and I think this should be all right. This is a typical structure of writing. A, and after writing the paper, you write the abstract. Because you know what is that you covered, right? So you include the abstract toward the end of the paper, right? So by seeing the abstract, they should know, they should visualize. An experienced researcher should visualize what is the, all the work you have done uh, internally in the paper. Uh, by seeing the abstract, we should be able to tell uh, this is the work internally might have been done. He should be able to visualize. That should be the abstract. That should be the abstract, right? So, okay, that's all uh, from me on this topic, right? Just uh, spend a couple of minutes and uh, go through this. Uh, please see whether you will be able to see it or not. Okay, kindly focus, right? So this is about writing a paper, this is the structure of a research paper and some of the techniques also I shared with you. Right, thank you. Thank you everybody.